नमस्कार मित्रों इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड ए मोबाइल फोन कंट्रोल्ड ई एस पी थर्टी टू ड्रोन यूजिंग जस्ट पॉपसिकल स्टिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट बाई बिल्डिंग द फ्लाइट कंट्रोलर टू मेक द फ्लाइट कंट्रोलर मोर प्रोफेशनल एंड लाइट वेट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज जे एल सी पी सी बी फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई स्टार्टेड बाई डिजाइनिंग द सर्किट इन ईजी डी ए कन्वर्टेड इट इन टू अ पी सी बी एंड डाउनलोडेड द गवर फाइल देन आई लॉक डाउन टू जे एल सी पी सी बी डॉट कॉम टू ऑर्डर द पी सी बीज जे एल सी पी सी बी इज अ पॉपुलर मैनुफेक्चर ऑफ प्रिंटेड सर्किट बोर्ड्स ऑफरिंग मल्टी लेयर पी सी बीज फ्लेक्स पी सी बीज पी सी बी असेंबली सर्विसज एंड एस एम टी स्टेंसिल्स बिसाइड्स पी सी बीज दे आल्सो प्रोवाइड थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग एंड सी एन सी मशीनिंग सर्विसज दे ऑफर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू प्रोटोटाइप अ प्रोडक्ट दे यूजर फ्रेंडली इंटरफेस मेक्स द ऑर्डरिंग प्रोसेस ईजी इवन फॉर बिगिनर्स टू ऑर्डर पी सी बीज अपलोड फाइल ऑन जी एल सी पी सी बीज वेबसाइट सेलेक्ट यूर पी सी बी सेटिंग्स एंड ऑर्डर हाई क्वालिटी पी सी बीज एट अ रिजनेबल प्राइस I have been using JLC PCB for a long time in my projects and I have never been disappointed. If you also want to make your projects look professional, do check them out. The link is in the description. I use their PCB assembly service, but I left out a few components so I could show you the manual soldering process. So let's begin. All right guys the PCB is ready after thoroughly checking all the components and confirming there are no short circuits i connected it to my pc and yes it was successfully detected now it's time to flash the firmware this project was originally developed by the expressive but it was not very beginner friendly thanks to job with joseph from circuit digest for making it more accessible there are multiple ways to flash the firmware if you want to tweak the firmware configuration you can use esp idf You will find the official documentation for that on Expressive's website. But if you just want to build the same drone as mine, here is the quickest and easiest method using ESP Launchpad. Just search for ESP Launchpad in your browser and open the first result. Now click on Connect. Make sure the power switch is on, otherwise the tool won't detect your device. Now select your device and click OK. As you can see, the device is now connected. Next, go to the DIY section. Click Choose File and select the firmware. The firmware link is in the description. Now set the flash address to 0x00 and hit program. Once it's done, click reset and then confirm. Now if you see serial output on the console, that means the flight controller has booted up and started the calibration process. Once calibration is complete, you should see ready to fly. If you don't, scroll up to check for errors. You will also see the I2C status for the IMU sensor and the Wi-Fi SSID and password to connect to the drone. All right, now the flight controller is ready. Let's build the drone frame. I designed the frame in Fusion 360 and created a drawing to help build it using popsicle sticks. And these are all the components that will be required to build this drone. Now let's start by building the drone frame.
Before continuing the assembly process, let me give a shout out to LTM for sponsoring today's video. LTM Designer is a powerful and user-friendly software trusted by engineers and makers worldwide to create high-quality PCBs quickly and accurately. And with LTM 365, your entire team stays connected. It seamlessly brings together everyone from mechanical designer to manufacturing specialists on a single cloud platform, streamlining your electronics design journey from concept to production. If you are ready to take your electronics design skills to the next level, there's a special trial offer just for YouTube viewers. Click the link in the description and get started today. Now let's get back to the assembly process. Okay, so the drone frame is complete and it weighs just 12 grams. I also made a 3D printed version of the frame which weighs 18 grams. You can purchase the 3D model files from Cults. The link is available in the description. Now moving on to the full assembly. For the battery, it's recommended to use at least a 30C LiPo battery. I am using a CHNL Ministar 450mAh LiPo battery rated at 70C. As for charging, the flight controller already has onboard charging circuit. The red LED indicates charging and the blue LED means the battery is fully charged. And finally, our drone is ready. It's quite lightweight, just 50 grams, including the 14 gram battery. Now place the drone on a flat surface and power it up. When the blue LED starts blinking, that means the drone has completed calibration and created a Wi-Fi hotspot. Talking about the app, for iOS, download the ESP drone app from the App Store. For Android, the app link is in the description. Now connect your phone to the drone's Wi-Fi. The password is 12345678. Once connected, open the app and allow location access. For your first flight, you might need to adjust the roll and pitch trim to stabilize the drone. Now tap the connect button in the app to connect with the drone. You can refer this image for more information on the app controls. If the drone's green LED is blinking rapidly, it's successfully connected and ready to fly. The red LED indicates either a low battery or some other issue. Now finally, let's have a test flight.
As you can see guys, the drone is flying pretty well and I am getting a flight time of 7 to 8 minutes with this battery. This was a fun and educational build for me. In future, I am planning to add a barometer sensor for altitude hold and maybe even a camera for live feed. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I hope you like this one. That is it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.